Thank you for watching. Today I'm going to paint up my Axial Yeti XL. You might wonder why I skipped all these steps ahead. Um, well, because the, the paintwork itself, uh, like the, the, the masking, regular masking, the cutting, all that stuff, that's not what I want to talk about today. Today I want to talk about well, what I refer to as uh, double masking. So I've already masked up the body. After that I uh, added an extra layer of uh, masking tape. Now let me explain you what I want to do here. Because I want to sort of reach an extra effect. Uh, my table is really messy over here. Um, what I want to do is, uh, uh, first I, uh, uh, as always, printed out all my uh, logos and stuff in uh, reverse. But I want to have a bit of a different background on this car. So I left some, uh, some sections open. I got a really good tip from a friend of mine who, uh, who is also into uh, painting. He had uh, a leftover from a flower arrangement, which he used to press on the body to get like an extra effect. I saw that and I thought it was really cool. Um, this body is going to be uh, inspired a bit by uh, castle creations, by axial. Uh, I want people to know that it's electric powered, so I want something that looks a bit like an electric storm in the background. So what I did, I went to my local craft store and I got this. I believe they call this a hobby weave. It should not be too difficult to get your hands on uh, this type of stuff. Um, it will actually allow you to put it uh, against the body, back it with a certain color, with your main color and afterwards peel it off and uh, back it again with a different color, with a, a bit of a contrasting color. Uh, ending up with an effect that looks somewhat like this. This was just a, an experiment on a leftover. I need to have a tiny bit more contrast, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to use most likely like a neon yellow or something, uh, fade that into a metallic green and afterwards back it with uh, a white to make sure that it really uh, pops. Um, and then as I progress I will uh, peel off the, the other sections of tape that I've added. Well, it sounds really complex but it isn't. Uh, just so I can fade it into uh, the regular background color with which I will start. So, in brief, uh, just to break it down for you and make it a tiny bit easier. What I will be doing is I will be adding a silver anodized aluminium after I put the weave on. Uh, I will back that with a gun metal. After that I will peel the weave off. I will fade a, a green metallic to a neon yellow, a fluorescent yellow. I will back that with white. I will uh, then remove the rest of the tape. So you see a few sections over here that are uh, taped in. And then I will proceed by backing it again with a silver anodized aluminium and a gunmetal. So the first two steps I will repeat those and then I will fill in uh, the rest of the logos. So it's, um, it's basically it's no different than uh, any other type of paint job that I, uh, that I would do except for uh, uh, repeating a few steps in the background, seeing if I can create that uh, extra effect and uh, get it to look like an electric storm, to put it like that. Let's, uh, let's just uh, uh, give it a go, start and uh, see what I can uh, end up with. Uh, you can also, uh, instead of a weave, you can, you can use a lot of stuff. You can go into your garden, see if you can find uh, some regular leaves, uh, flatten those out, put those on your shell. Uh, you can uh, use feathers, uh, stuff like that. It's not that difficult. Just uh, have a look at your craft store. Um, anything would be usable. Lace, weave, feathers, uh, regular leaves, uh, anything. Well, that's that all done. Uh, you will see a few of the steps uh, because I did film some uh, along the line. Again, a huge thank you to uh, my buddy Kane Halt. Uh, if you want to see more of Kane's work, have a look at uh, largescaledownunder.com.au uh, That's because it is in Australia. Largescale Down Under, kind of obvious as well. Uh, Kane is a really talented painter. He uses uh, airbrushes. I'm not sure if he uses plotters, but uh, he makes some really nice work. And he uses some, uh, some next level techniques. I think the cool thing is when uh, you discover something that works or if you have like a cool idea, that you can actually share it instead of keeping it to yourself because that's some bullshit, you know? Why would you keep stuff to yourself if you know that uh, you can achieve something that looks a bit different um, or that adds like this extra dimension to your paintwork? So I'm pretty, uh, pretty stoked about this. I'm really happy that I uh, tried this out. Uh, there's a few things that you need to keep in mind. I mean, this was my first try on this uh, on this particular uh, uh, backing technique with the, with the weave. 
uh, if you spray it with uh, two different colors, uh, I mean if you need to back it with two different colors before peeling it off, like I needed to do over here, make sure that you spray in the, in the exact same direction before you take that uh, weave off. And the closer you press it down, the more of an effect that you will get. So you will see in some of the um, higher areas where I managed to push the weave down a tiny bit flatter, there's more of an effect going on than uh, in some of the other areas. Which is fine because, uh, I mean, this was the first try as well and uh, I think it turned out quite cool. Um, well, again, go to your craft store, see what they have, go into your garden, see what's laying around over there. Just have a look around, uh, maybe even, uh, I don't know, rummage through your wife's or your girlfriend's uh, underwear drawer, see if there's some lace laying around that you can use, just to press it on the body, just to get to get like a bit of a, of a different feel, a bit of a different effect than you would get uh, if you would just paint it one flat color. Uh, on the interior, I used, um, well, pretty much the same technique as I used on the on the 10 scale Yeti. Uh, so I went for a black uh, underneath, then I, on the top of the, uh, of the piece, I'm not sure if that makes any sense, cut off the overspray film on the top. Uh, went for two different colors over there, went for that uh, aluminium uh, anodized silver uh, PS48 from the top of my head and a PS1 white for the suits just to give them a bit of a, almost like a steak feel from my top gear. Uh, you will see a close up of this as well. Um, the only thing I'm waiting for right now is my, uh, my Castle Creations Mambo Monster 2 so I can actually uh, power this project and uh, get it running. But before that I will be missing an action for a tiny bit. I actually need to fly out to Los Angeles tomorrow. So today will be me packing my bags, trying to get some sleep before uh, tomorrow. I have about 26 hours of traveling ahead of me. It's going to be a lot of fun. Um, I'm going to bring my camera. I'm not sure if it's going to be like a, a really RC related uh, videos or if it's going to be more of like a vlog work which I hate but uh, I just want to take you uh, along on my trip uh, and experience the journey with you. The week afterwards I will be going to Miami. Uh, mind you all of this is uh, a RC related business, sounds really important but it's not. Uh, it's going to be a lot of fun as well, at least uh, I'm going to try to have some fun uh, in the meantime too. For me it's going to be culture shock, I live in a forest over here in Norway so uh, most of the days I don't see any people. Um, if I do see something that's alive it's kitten or it's like a deer, something like that. Uh, so for me to go to LA it's going to be one big uh, shock fest, one big uh, culture clash. It's going to be a lot of fun. I'm, I'm really looking forward to it. Uh, it came up like that, uh, so it really came out of the blue. Uh, need to go there. Yeah. I'm looking forward to it. Anyway, uh, that's it for, for this uh, video, the Axial Yeti XL kit. I had a ton of fun building this thing. The body panels, the quality on them is uh, really nice. Uh, again, if you wonder, uh, Icon logo on the top because I got the Icon uh, license shocks on this uh, car, of course. Axial logos on the front. Uh, power plant is going to be Castle Creations Mambo Monster 2. Overall, I think it uh, turned out, it's a bit different from uh, what I would usually do and uh, difference, uh, differences can be good. Uh, it's nice to have a bit of a variety in your uh, RC arsenal uh, and uh, it, it's no different with, uh, with this car. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions, because I know that I tend to sort of rush uh, through things. Uh, if you have any questions, leave them in the comments box or other comments are welcome as well. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do. And, uh, well, I want to thank you for watching. It's appreciated. Thank you. Bye-bye.